I'm, I'm not worried about the good, the bad, and the ugly show, but I, I, I am thinking about a, um, a, a, a drama again. Worried about Jim. I, I, I've explained that I've, I've gradually begun to do the drama hour because it used to be done by the storyteller, the stand-up philosopher. Uh, but because I start the wild show, I got to know what went on with that and I sat in over a couple of summers and now the, the storyteller's gone. Uh, Widsiff and Deal Theatre is on tour in the south of France, running a bit late. They, they n- normally aim for better weather. I think, I think it's getting colder, even down there. Um, but I don't know when they'll be back. I think they'll be back in December and my play... Uh, set in the ruins of a fortress university. Uh, well, it play it's, it's, it's developing into a play. Um, it started out just as a, a stand-up routine, or whatever stand-up philosophers do. A, a 20 or 30 minute um, series of comments set in a sci-fi future, looking back on whatever happened to the fortress university. And um, in the ruins considering what can still be done that follows on from whatever the university was about in the first place. Something like that. I, I, I'm just coming up with ideas, really. I'm not writing a script for the stand-up philosopher. I just put things across, and um, I'm, I'm confident there will be a performance of some kind, possibly in December, but possibly later. I'm not sure that um, Widsith and Deer will come back to the UK they they like France and um, this whole Brexit thing. They're not sure how that's going to go, um, but they may they may be back. Anyway, the other thing I've discovered is that uh, I, I've I've identified um, Kendall Kendall Castle as a very good location because it has got a ruined castle, and it's not far from Lancaster where there's a, a very solid castle. So the the original uh, castle, I think, was in Durham. It was in Durham that Peter Horrocks gave a lecture about the Fortress University and how the MOOC, the online approach, could open up things, make, make the campus more available and uh, draw more people into the situation. Uh, I don't think he saw the the campus as disappearing. I think there was some sort of blended idea in there, but FutureLearn would be a large part of it, and the Open University could uh, make make a benefit from it um, while continuing with with occasional real life events. And so the um, the Fortress University probably started in Durham, but I think of it as being in. Uh, in or near Lancaster, because they had a conference about the platform university, as if that was some sort of threat or difference to whatever the university was, if it wasn't a platform university, which I'm not quite sure about, because all the um, commercial pressures are not just coming from the the um, the online organisations, I don't think. So, I mean, some of them are basically uh, commercial operations anyway, the cloud operations, but they um, they become some sort of learning learning operation. And I, I, do, I well, I don't know how the how the universities will fit in there, but I'm just explaining where where these ideas about uh, the ruins come from. Because what I then discovered was that although I've been trying to explain this for, for quite a while. The stand-up philosopher hadn't realised the photos I was sending were from Kendall because um, somehow Kendall Castle is in the memory from some time ago. Um, This is all happening through Twitter. Stand-up philosopher is stand-up thought, all one word. And um, I'm Will789GB and uh, the We Not Know show is W-E-N-O-T-N-O. And that, that's where you'll find a retweet of this quite quite recently. Anyway, I asked him to tweet about what, what Kendall Castle meant. Uh, a ruined bastion wall high on a hill and skegorsely beyond. Green to grey to brown to a colour like a shadow. An excitement at the start of things. 
in a ruin of a wall, a layering like a maze entering in and beyond a dark crown like time. The bit where I couldn't really pronounce it, some of his longer word combinations are not... Oh, I shall have to in, in, investigate that one. Skeg's, Skeg's Dackle well beyond. I think it might be a Dale. Skeg's Dale? I'll try and find out some more about that and ask him again what, what that was what that was about. But what it what it means to me is that um places have various meanings and uh Kendall Castle may not just be a, a ruin. I I also think that if the um Widsiff and Deal Theatre TP, their stage and um surrounding support tents and cooking devices and so forth were pitched anywhere it would become calmer as a place and there might be all sorts of discussions possible around it this nearly happened uh, in the cathedral yard exeter during the street arts festival end of august but that was that was cancelled i think it was getting too popular and would have led to larger larger crowds um but it may it may not may not be too terrible as a ruin Maybe there can be quite a positive discussion there or somewhere else. Um, not not at all sure about that. The um, discussion yesterday, I, I I started to talk to John, and I'm sure we'll come back to it on the We Not Know show, which is now on a Monday afternoon. Uh, it's it's too difficult, I think, now to talk about ruins and shock and what what the future is for student accommodation in the way that we were last year um because we were basically saying this is this is a, a craze or a boom financial boom going on and why would student accommodation be needed in 10 or 20 years time if everything moves online um but i i i don't i don't think this is you know we don't know we'll see we'll see what goes on but this may not be the right time to be um sort of trying to, to provoke people because there's there's too much difficulty coping with the situation and um things things will work through later on what 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 i started to talk about with john yesterday was imagining just a walk around exeter in a couple of years time when the uh the pandemic is more or less under control the the vaccine or uh whatever solutions are found um will have returned to some sort of normal or some sort of working method and um you could w go around next and just find out how how much um space is needed for record shops because sound music um is a situation where where the streaming thing has been happening for 10 15 20 years or something quite quite a long time and um it's made significant difference to the space that's needed for um supply and music so at some at some point in the future the the whole campus situation might might be very very different i think i've been talking for far too long now i'm going to play play some music and um